Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Wayne DeGroot from The Cube for DDD.ca. Today's lesson is Quick 3D. What I'm using right now is Learning Soft Plans Chapter 2, Lesson 10, Adding Cabinets. If you do not have any cabinets, I highly, highly suggest you go to Part 1, ba boom and click on that and take a look to see what part one uh, will do. We'll, part one will be base cabinets, part two will be upper cabinets along with part three and this is how this is where I've gotten so far. So what I want to do is do a quick 3D of this area but first thing I want to do is put in the floor system. As a default the floor system is not in. If I did not put in the floor system it would actually be green grass inside of our kitchen. So I'm gonna go into do a floor system. I'm gonna quickly go through this and if you're unfamiliar with adding in floor systems um, I highly suggest you click on um, here to uh, how, show you how to do a floor system in introduction. Okay, uh, clicking on the icon here, if you're not really familiar with it, it actually is right here, which says floor system right on it. I'm going to do all of these because I'm just doing this for a 3D purpose. I would do a manual trace. Auto, of course, would not work because it needs more than the three walls itself. So I'm going to do a manual trace. These two I have are the brick walls. So I'm just going to draw them on really quickly, like so, and go beyond. There's no need to put in the floor itself, but again, I just wanted to see more than just grass there. Okay. Go to drawing. And now I want to do a 3D. Now, normally on the keyboard, I'd hit Control-V, as in view, but uh, what I'll do is show you on the screen edit sorry uh, build going to build and then there's our 3d there but we're gonna do just a, a quick 3d a really quick 3 quick 3d only does the floor that you happen to be in so if you're in if you are inside of one floor plan there you go uh, do your quick view and it says control V so there's our shortcut there okay uh, I clicked on that and up here it says select ca camera and target so it's actually waiting for us to select the camera and the target position so I'm gonna click on here for the camera and now it's waiting for us to say where are where's our target where are we aiming at so I'm gonna aim right there alright previous um, is the previous view uh, we'll talk about that more in an intermediate Wireframe, visible line, both the same thing, but um, wireframe is more or less you could see through everything. Everything's made out of glass type of thing. And uh, visible line is you can only see lines that are visible from the to the eye. Shaded is taking that one step further but adding color to it. Sketched and illustrated are beautiful additives that Softplan have added in. Takes a little bit of playing, but it's definitely an advanced feature. I really like this one. And rendered is definitely my my by far the favorite because it's um, it actually calculates everything. It just takes a little longer to do to render. So the fastest response would be uh, textured. So we're going to click on textured, and it's asking us to save changes. Yes, we made a change to the uh, floor plan. So I definitely want to do that. I want to add in the uh, floor system. Okay. Uh, extraction options. What is going to be extracted? What is going to be calculated for your 3D? It's saying it's calculating all of these things and as you can see the framing is not being calculated. They actually took this out a little while ago, in several versions ago, because it did take a long time to do. Depending on how fast your computer is, how big your building is, it actually is ideal to actually turn that off unless of course you want to do a 3D framing uh, picture. Uh, in this case, we're going to have drywall, we're going to have brick, so it's, the walls are pretty well going to be covered up. So there's no need to have framing being calculated. We don't have stairs, so we won't calculate it. Openings, there's different types of here. So I'm going to just hit OK because we're OK with this as a default. So it's going to take a minute or two here. And I do believe the 3D framing is going to be... Um, full screen so what I'll do is I'll just condense that down to fit inside of what you could see 
right there. There we go. All right, so um, oh, it's still regenerating there. I will. Um, um, there it is, our plan. So I'm going to take a look around. Uh, some people actually have seen me manipulate my 3Ds around, and they haven't got a clue how I have done that. Now, it really depends on how powerful your video card. In this case, is I happen to be using someone else's computer at the moment in my office, so I have not set up the video card correctly, it looks like. But when I let go of my uh, roller mouse button, um, I can actually see what it's going to look like. Now, I'm going to, again, I'm going to put the mouse in the middle of the screen and I'm just going to twist to the right or twist to the left and I can sort of see all our little ideas and, and uh, I did explain how to put on these cabinets in the uh, other floor plan in the other uh, lessons so if you're familiar with it go ahead um, I'm going to use the roller mouse button and click out a little bit if I had more video card RAM, this would actually be almost like a live fly through, which is actually quite wonderful. I'm going to uh, do a bird's eye view, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the roller mouse button and drag it downwards. So I have an idea what my kitchen would look like, and I'm just going to roll upwards so you can sort of see everything. Um, wonderful for clients to see. Um, a lot of people want to see exactly what their kitchen is going to look like. If you're too close, you can use, just like any other 3D aspect, you can click change the camera position. I will quickly describe that. Inside of Elevation and Plan, it actually shows you your Plan View uh, camera and your Elevation camera. You don't really know the size or how high it is right now, but right now it's saying that my camera is almost double of what the wall height is, so I'm going to say it's about 16 inches. If you're not quite sure, I could click on Edit and click on the camera itself, and um, there's our camera position, X, Y, Z, Z, and focus, X, Y, Z, Z. And um, I could change the height of it if I want to manually. I can change the width of the view itself. I don't really need to. I could probably just drag, click and drag um, my move, move my camera upwards if I chose to. Seems like a memory hog right now. Okay, so I click on uh, OK and uh, there's our quick view again. I do have another minute, so maybe what I'll try doing is uh, maybe changing some flooring items or even adding a backslash uh, on the back of our cabinets here. So I'm going to click on Edit, clicking on our cabinet. You do one, of course, and it should take a second or two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the uh, cabinet itself and then turn on the backslash backsplash on the back of the cabinet. I think I'm pushing some limits here. It's the recording of the screen is slowing it down. Okay, so I don't think that's going to work for us right there. Well, well there you go. If you have uh, any requests on how to do anything inside of SoftPlan, please email me at softplantv at ddd.ca if you are looking into looking at the cabinets again, you can view the beginning of the screen and you can uh, redo the kitchen cabinet uh, lesson. Thank you so much for watching, Softline TV.